I am going to work on removing all of the curtains and trying to keep as many of the curtain pieces as possible so that I don't have to buy more than I need. All right, so this ended up being way harder than I thought some of them would come off and then the next five wouldn't. So I just gave up and said they're not breaking, they're not coming off, so I'm gonna see if I can possibly take that off and just slide them off and then be able to slide them back on when I put new curtains up. If I have nothing else, I will figure out a better way. Okay, so you can see right here we've got um, 1999 uh, staples in here, and this is how we we have to get this off so that we can slide our uh, tracks back on for our curtain because that's the only way we're gonna get get in here. So I've got to come around and slowly bang all of these. until we can get them out. So I've started taking all of the bumpers that were on the curtains to keep the curtains on and taking all the little things off. And what I figured out makes it the easiest way to take it off is take your little thingamabob and hit it with a hammer going this way and then it will just slide right off. Instead of trying to get underneath here and then ply it up with uh, pliers. If you just go this way, it will come right off and boom, you're done. And then what I would do instead is come back with bumpers with screws so that the next person just makes it easier. showed you they were stapled in and what I did is I took a, a scraper and just hammered it until they would pop off and then I could just slide all of them off boom easy so now we're just gonna slide them back on me and DJ sewed these today it took us about half a day um, we added length here I'm probably going to add a backing to help with the heat but we're just getting it done for right now and these are just shower curtains cut in half and they will be for both this side and that side over there. And then we're gonna do white sheer curtains for the bunks for making it feel airy and keeping it airy, literally. Literally and figuratively. Yes. yes. Show them that and then show them what we did to be able to sew them on because I could not sew these on with just a needle and thread. The, the machine that they sewed these on with in the original is so small I couldn't get a needle through it. So right. we had to drill holes into them. Just took the tiniest drill bit. It was just a little bit bigger than the needle and uh, 
drill two holes in it so we could attach the threading. If you can see, it's kind of dark right there, but the threading. You probably it's just really attached, yeah. just like a button. Lift one off. There we go, show them that. Like a button. Ta da! It's party. already added some <laughs> much needed shade in here. Which means we're going to have to put a screw at each end, but a screw just is going to make it so much easier because we can just unscrew it. And these are going to look really smart with our new gray canvas that we got. Mm -hmm. We'll be installing once we get the cabling system fixed. That looks good. Is it done? I like it. Pretty sturdy cabs, huh? Oh, ooh, look, because we had it taped up. Look at all these. Oops. Got to take them off. Yeah. Yeah, that button I couldn't get out because it ended at the steel. Oh, okay. So this will be perfect. Because we can use these, we can screw these to be the bumpers. Okay. And then when I purchase the new ones from Coleman Pop Up Parts for this side, we'll be we'll be good. We'll be using different ones for okay. the sheets or the sheer curtains. I like the idea of the sheer curtains. There, put that one over there with the other one. I still want to make a balance or a ruffle. But hey, it's Clayton's. It's Clayton. Hey guys, so I'm back in the camper. It's now the end of July. Um, 2019 and I have added some delicate little details to the curtains though they're not 100% finished yet I still have to get backing for them um, I haven't selected what color I'm going to use for backing yet because I'm like do I want to go with silver do I just want to do the reflective thing I know that I want to put some magnets in the ones that are going to be on the side by the door um, so that I can fold them up like a Roman shade, so that will be nice, especially around the dining booth. Uh, but I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek. I'm going to get it all put up so that you can see all the work we've been doing. It's definitely getting it done. I'm hoping that by the end of September, it's 100% done and we go on our first, well, not our first trip in it, but the first trip since February when we started renovating because we've been doing 